Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how can we prove a given sentence using forward chaining in artificial intelligence. In this case, we have been given some set of sentences. Given these sentences, we need to prove Q here. So, what are the sentences given to us? P implies Q, L and M implies P and so on. Each of these sentences or rules are true itself. The meaning of this one is this entire thing is true, this entire thing is true and so on. In forward chaining approach, what we do is uh, whenever the premises of a rule are satisfied or true, for example, if we consider this one, if L and M, both of them are true, we conclude that the conclusion is also true here. So, that is the simple process what we follow and the same thing will be repeated continuously until we reach the goal node or we can say that the goal here. So, in this case, if you look at here, a and B are, you can say that the individual literals, we will start from here and we will go on inferring the different conclusions until we reach this Q here. So, first we will consider what? A we will consider and B because both of them are true, that is what is known to us. Now, what we can do is uh, to get to this uh, Q, we will select uh, some of these rules where A and B are present. If you look at this particular rule, A and B, so A is true and B is true. All the premises of this uh, rule are true. The meaning of this one is the conclusion is also true in this case. So, what we can do is we can combine A and B and we will get L here. It means that L is inferred or you can say that L is also true now. A is true, B is true and L is true. Now, what we can do? We can take this rule that is B and L. B is true, we know that. L is true, that is also known to us because both the premises of this rule are true, we can conclude that the conclusion is also true, that is nothing but M in this case. So, we can notice here, L and B were combined to get M in this case. Now, uh, M is uh, itself true, what we do is uh, we will select another rule so that we will be able to prove Q here. Now, if you look at uh, this rule, that is L and M implies P, L and M are itself true, L and M is true, that means all the premises of this rule are true. The meaning of this one is the conclusion is also true. That is what I have drawn over here. L is true, M is true, L and M implies P that P is also true over here. Because P is true, what we can do is we will check this rule. Because P is true, Q must be true in this case because all the premises of this rule are true. It means that the conclusion is also true here, that is what is expected answer in this case. So, we have started with A and B, we have inferred L and then L and B were combined so that we got M, L and M were combined so that we can get P here and when you uh, get to this particular P, because P is true, its conclusion is also true, that is nothing but Q is also true in this case. So, this is how we can apply the forward chaining approach to the given set of uh, sentences or rules to prove a given sentence again. I hope the concept of uh, forward chaining approach is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.